Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And we all know that our lives are governed by our habits and they're governed by our emotions. And so today I wanna to talk to you about how do you handle one of the most uh, one of the most challenging emotions we have, and that's fear. Uh, it was Eleanor Roosevelt that said, uh, you gain strength and you gain courage and you gain confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. And you must do the thing which you think you cannot do. That's a great statement. Stop and look fear in the face because that's what many of us really hesitate to do, not understanding the valuable impact that it can have on our lives in a positive way because all of us are affected in some way and at some level by fear. That's, there's no getting around that. We're all gonna be afraid at some point. That's because fear spreads and it expands uh, and, and it takes the form of a giant many times in our lives and it's like this mythological monster uh, for many people. Uh, and again, even some of the fears that we fear most, it never come to pass, they never happen. And when we try and defend ourselves against whatever caused that fear, uh, many times what happens is it produces fear in other people that are around us. And again, I've watched this even in my own leadership and even in my own uh, life. I've watched that and when I get afraid or if I show fear, then the people around me start to have more defensive reactions and they start to worry about what's going on. And again, this is kind of a, it, it just creates its own little evolutionary monster. And this creates unhealthy relationships with fear. And so today I wanna to talk to you about how do you manage your fears? How do you not let your fears control you? And how do you move forward into the next level of your destiny, even though you have fear? So I wanna give you some tips that I've learned uh, for myself, some things that I manage my own fears with, some strategies and some tips I've learned along the way, uh, and then make some of my own contributions as well, things that I've, I've, uh, I've learned through my own life journey. The first thing is that you gotta become interested in your fears, that's right. Uh, everybody wants to feel safe. Everybody wants to have a level of certainty in their life. Uh, but instead of allowing the emotion of fear to cause you to run from whatever you're afraid of, you have a choice. We all have a choice to get interested about it. And I know that's an interesting concept and a unique concept to many people because they've never thought about it that way. But you see, curiosity is a kryptonite to fear. That's right, it's a kryptonite to fear. And when we learn to respond to our fearful instincts by working through it with curiosity and this level of process that we can begin to break down the barriers and the stronghold that fear has on us. And I've done this many, many times and learned to really learn how to trust my instincts on this and work through that fear even though uh, I'm afraid I continue to move forward. The second thing is you have to allow grace to give you space. I've, you've heard me say this before, grace creates space, and we all have a built-in process that prepares our body for fight or flight. We know it as a sympathetic response mode. Uh, and our fight or flight mechanism starts shooting that adrenaline through our bloodstream, and we start to get fired up, and we're ready to either throw the spear or take off and run. And what happens many times is we find out that like the other emotions, like anger, uh, aggressiveness, uh, and, and even fear, but what happens is when we start to have that fight or flight mode and that adrenal starts to flow, uh, the fear starts to appear. But the good news is we have options. You're not, you don't have to settle in that. You don't have to live in that fear and live in that emotion. Uh, we don't have to relate uh, to fear this way. We can actually learn to respond to fear with a sense of grace. That's right, a sense of grace. Uh, I understand this in, in easy. This is great teaching, but it's very hard living. I get that. But when we can extend grace and kindness to the very thing that we fear, it takes the sting out of fear. It takes the very sting out of it. And when we extend grace towards ourselves, uh, whenever we experience fear, guess what happens? It creates space for us. It creates space for us to grow. It creates space for us to feel safe again. And it actually gives us a level of certainty knowing that just because we're afraid doesn't mean that we can't move forward and be courageous. And that's the third point is you got to become courageous with your fear. You know, something amazing happens when you don't run away from the things that you fear most. I've watched this in all of my coaching career. I've watched it in my own life. If you don't run away from the thing that you fear, but instead you run towards the thing that you fear, it takes on a whole new life of itself. And I know, again, this is not easy. It does take remarkable bravery to do this. And many people believe uh, that they had, that, that in order for them to have courage to face their fears, that means they gotta live without fear. And that's not true, that's a lie. 
You cannot live your whole life without fear uh, because again, life is hard and there's constantly things that are gonna change and circumstances that you can't control. But living courageously means acknowledging that the fear is there and still moving forward anyway. And I love that. I think it was Les Brown that said, that's what courageous people do. They acknowledge the fear and they move forward. And again, Ella Rosen, uh, Roosevelt said, uh, learn to look fear in the face. Look it right in the face, right in the eyeballs. And when you do that, we're gonna find out some beautiful things start to happen, some incredible courage and self-confidence and some things that you haven't even seen and thought about so far because what happens is fear is an emotion that activates a part of that brain a part of our mind and a part of our brain that really starts to solve issues and to really become courageous and fear is one of the enemy's favorite tools by the way and it keeps us from moving forward it keeps people locked up in their prison and it keeps them parked in the middle of the road and the moment you make a decision to step out on faith and to say i'm not going to run from fear anymore the enemy will bring you uh, to a point where fear has to try, try to stop you. And he'll put thoughts in your mind like, you, you know, you, you don't have what it takes or what are other people gonna say about you? And what happens if I fail again? I can't fail again. That's, that is not the voice and the spirit of the Lord talking to you. That's the spirit of fear. And, and, and you know, maybe you don't have what it takes. That's the, that's the thing that you're gonna hear from yourself. But guess what? The enemy will try to convince you to shrink back and to stay right where you are parked in the middle of the road and never reach your destiny and never get out of that fear mode. And the scripture tells us that fear is a spirit and it affects the way we think. It affects the way our, our emotions react. It affects how we look at life. But when you choose to trust in God, no matter what happens in your life, no matter how you're feeling, no matter what the, you're doing in terms of your, your circumstances that you can't control, you are actually combating fear at that moment. So today I wanna encourage you, Step out on faith. Don't allow fear to keep you in a, in a stronghold, in a prison in your life. Don't allow it to hold you back. Instead, take that step of faith. Know that God's on your side. Know that all things are going to work together for the good, for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And know that you are being led and you are being guided by the master. And again, he will always lead you into the path of victory. That's right. You are victorious. You are not a victim. So stop letting fear victim you and allow yourself to live in faith step by step and if you'll do that I believe you can manage your feel fear and you will be all that you were created to be so God bless you guys take care I'll see you on the next video